Hi, in this video, what we're going to do is look at the area enclosed or bounded by two curves. So the area enclosed by f of x is x squared and g of x is equal to x cubed is rotated around the x-axis 360 degrees. Find the volume of the solid formed. Right, so if we draw the curves... Here we have x squared and here we have x cubed. So this blue area here is going to be rotated around the uh, x-axis. So first what we want to do is find the points of intersection. So the points, to find the points of intersection, we put f of x is equal to g of x. So we've got x squared is equal to x cubed. To solve that, we put it equal to 0. So we've got x squared minus x cubed is equal to 0. Factorise that x squared and we get 1 minus x is equal to 0. So either x is 0 from that 1 or x has to be equal to 1. So we've got 0 and 1 are going to be our limits of integration. All right, this is the area it's actually enclosed. Right, next thing is to set up the correct integral. So what we do is we take the top one here. The top one between a and b is going to be x squared. So the volume will be pi times f of x squared. The volume at the top, this one here, minus the volume at the bottom squared. Minus the volume at the bottom squared. All right, and that needs to be multiplied. Each of these need to be multiplied by pi. So it's pi r squared minus pi r squared. You need to get that clear in your head. Right, next uh, to set up the integral. So the in limits are from zero to one of x squared squared minus x cubed squared dx. Uh, simplifying that integral. So preparing the integral, we get from pi from zero to one of x to the four. 2 times 2, minus x cubed times squared, which is 3 times 2, which is x to the 6 dx. So that's going to be pi times, integrating now, x to the 5 over 5, minus x to the 7 over 7, between 0 and 1. Substituting in the limits, so we're going to have pi 1 to the 5 divided by 5, minus 1 to the 7 divided by 7, minus 0 to the 5 divided by 5, minus 0 to the 7 divided by 7. This should be minus all of it, so it should be in brackets as well. Okay, this time it is 0, but it's not always 0, and just because it's 0, it doesn't mean that these will always be 0. We need to take great care over that. Right, that comes down to the volume being between 1 to the 5 over 5, 1 to the 7 over 7. So simplifying that, 7 over here, 5 over here, so it's 7 minus 5 over the common denominator 35, which gives me an answer of 2 pi over 35 cubic units. Now we can look at this using um, GeoGebra. So going to GeoGebra. Okay, so here we have the x squared function and the, here we have the x cubed function. we start the animation off okay we can see what's happening here is that the area is being rotated around the axis we get sort of a hollow solid like that okay so we've gone all the way around now you can see we've got sort of a hollow solid whatever shape we get Okay, let's reset it. Reset this. Now if we wanted to... Sorry, let's just put it up so we can rotate it back again. Like it was when we started. Okay, so if we want to look at the glasses now, we put our glasses on, click. Click here, set our glasses, and then we'll start it off again. Now we can look at it in 3D. So you need to have the glasses for this to work. Red uh, cyan glasses. Now we can see a volume of revolution here forming in 
3D. Just give it a few minutes to, to get around it, take a bit longer to do that way. And there we have it. Okay, so we've got the large show there, you can see it from different angles. Okay, this app is attached to the video so you can see it for yourself. Okay, some screenshots of what we've just done. Gives you different angles. Okay, if we wanted to use our calculator to do this, then the expectation maybe is to draw a diagram in this case to show that x squared is above what x cubed for the uh, required area. Marking on the limits. So the volume will be, so this is the important bit, writing down the correct integral. So setting up the integral, so it's from pi from 0 to 1 of x squared squared minus x cubed squared dx. Perhaps simplifying that integral. Okay, and then this is where we go to our GDC. Go into our GDC. And select a graphing mode, uh, sorry, calculation mode, and then we do menu. Number four, calculus. Number two, numerical derivative. N numerical integral, sorry. Numerical integral. Let's just do that again. Let's just do that again. Let's just do a menu. Cal sorry. I'm forgetting something first. We need to put in the pi first. In pi, then menu, calculus, numerical integral. And here we need to put in 0 for the lower limit, 1 for the upper limit. We need to put some brackets in here. And we need to do x to the power of 4. minus x to the power of 6 dx. So writing down the correct integral is quite important. Pressing enter and we get a numerical answer of 0 0.1795. From the GDC, there's our screenshots. So writing down the numerical values, Rounded off correctly to three standard figures, that five makes it nine ten, so it becomes zero point one eight zero cubic units to three significant figures. Now there's a common mistake that's made when we do this, and this is what it is. The most common error is to do the integral from a to b of all of f of x minus g of x. So it's subtracting f of x, g of x first, and then squaring, and then finding that integral. That is not correct. Okay, so you need to be wary of that. Okay, so there's been a video to show you how to find the volume of revolution of the area bounded between two curves. Thank you very much for watching.